insect, insecticides being used today in modern uh, agriculture, a lot of them are also very toxic to human beings and can directly be linked to some of the cancers and quite a number of um, Alzheimer's, a number of um, uh, diseases that we've seen popping up. You wonder where these things are coming from all of a sudden. I mean, in Kenya, there was, um, I mean, there was no dialysis machine. I mean, after a few years back, now you find that the health has been compromised, not just with the chemicals being used in farming, but also with the, um, what we call the modern and lifestyle choices that people are now being given. I was gonna go there. <laughs>
because here you're growing the plant at the expense of the soil. Mm. Doing that means that after 5, 10, 15 years, the soil is so damaged, so badly damaged, that you, you have the farmers who have been pumping in these deadly chemicals into the soil over a number of years. They're producing less and less smaller and smaller fruit, less and less quantities, and you find them having to go with stronger and stronger chemicals to force their plant to produce. Also, because they have used such deadly chemicals in trying to control the insects over the years, mm -hmm. what you have done also, you have now caused the insects to mutate and you have a stronger insect, meaning that you need a stronger insect killer. Mm -hmm. So, and those insect insecticides being used today in modern uh, agriculture, a lot of them are also very toxic to human beings and can directly be linked to some of the cancers and quite a number of um, Alzheimer's, a number of um, uh, diseases that we're seeing popping up. You wonder where these things are coming from all of a sudden. I mean, in Kenya, there was, um, I mean, there was no dialysis machine, I mean, after a few years back. Now you find that the health has been compromised, not just with the chemicals being used in farming, but also with the, um, what we call the modern and lifestyle choices that people are now being given. <laughs> I was going to go there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because, I mean, with the rapid increase of junk food and this new lifestyle that's obviously degenerative, we have to have somewhere that people can find some regenerative alternatives. And that's why our concept of farming here is regenerative agriculture. Mm. And likewise, when we do cross over into food choices and food options, we are very much the same way. I myself, I'm a vegan. That's why um, the Veggie Man is a vegan organic agriculture consultant. I mean, today I'm dressed to go play some ball because um, this is what we do. We exercise, we drink a lot of water, we eat good fruits and vegetables and all our grains, and we keep it pumping, you know? Yeah, it, it, it sounds like what, I mean, the education that I'm getting, mm -hmm. uh, being here, you and Soul Vegetarian, uh, you know, sharing this same space, I'm looking and I'm saying, wow, we need to have more conversations like this. And clearly here in Kenya, mm -hmm. it's um, definitely going to be more prominent as more people are dealing with health challenges. Mm -hmm. They're going to look for natural solutions, organic solutions. Mm -hmm. And... You, now, what you do is help people learn how to grow the food themselves. Yes. And That's what your kit does. Yeah, and well, if I could, with the kit, sure. the kit provides the, um, whether if you want to produce um, summer crops in greenhouses, for example, or if you're in an extremely hot area, mm -hmm. you need a shaded net house that you can show them a clip oh, when sure, you sure, get, sure. get a minute. Sure, sure. The, um, so what we do, we provide the greenhouse with the irrigation system mm -hmm. inside and outside the, um, the greenhouses. Mm -hmm. We also provide the... Um, the tank, as you see this little tank here, mm -hmm. that... Um, I'm going to just bring this down so feeds, everybody can see it. Feeds yeah. the irrigation, or could we, we show it to them. All right. So that we feed the irrigation systems. Um, the shed and earth house, most, in most cases, is used for nursery. Mm -hmm. We also provide the um, knapsack sprayer, organic fertilizers, pest control, disease control, etc. But we also install for the farmers. We train the farmers, and we do what we call agro-support, which is a system where we follow up to make sure the farmers are following a calendar, which we give them, to give them somewhat of a bulletproof system so you're not guessing. Oh. Because there's a big myth that organic agriculture doesn't work. It's old school. It's just with manure. And I say to you, man, all this is, is um, it's a bunch of nonsense. Okay. Organic agriculture does work. And if our fathers and mothers had not grown organically in the past, we would not have been here today. So in order to make sure that our children and our children's children have a future, we have to grow organic. And we have to teach the people and guide our people back in this direction. It's one of the things that we don't, for us, I mind myself, I don't give myself a choice. There's no option of maybe I do it or maybe I don't. Or, um, you know, like I tell me, they said, um, you know, you got to be careful because, you know, some people don't want to hear that. I mean, at the end of the day, are we living for ourselves? Are we living to serve the purpose that God put us here for? Mm -hmm. And to make sure that we are giving to someone else. Well, you know, a lot of people don't want to go to the doctor and hear that they have all these diseases either. Exactly. So, you know, ex 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 so it's ex like, ex exactly. pick what you want to hear when you want to hear it. Ex exactly. So, and you have other locations on the continent. Did you, or, or other people that you work with, different countries? Yeah, we're working in Ghana as well. We're working in South Africa. Okay. And um, we, we're now doing some work in... Um, we were doing some work in, um, in Uganda, okay. and we are also stepping into Tanzania. We have done, and we're now going back to Tanzania to continue some projects there as well. Where, where are you originally from? I'm from Antigua. Ah, in the, in the yeah. see, 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 see. <laughs> I'll say this accent sound. Yeah. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm trying to piece it, piece it together. Yeah, originally from Antigua, lived in Israel, Ghana, and um, I mean, I've traveled over 30 countries at this point. All right. And most of it has been related to either, we call it divine organic agriculture uh -huh. or divine music. Oh. 
Yeah. I'll, so you do music too. I'll share the music with you. Let me find out. I'll share. Let me find out. I'm, I'm talking to the man. I, I, I'll share some stuff with you. I don't know who I'm talking to. I'm, I'm, I'm talking, you said the veggie man, but let me find out. You got some, I, I'll what share. instrument do you play? And, and sing and chant and rap and give them truths and facts and, you know. That's you got to share all of that I'm, with I'm me. Sh- I'm going to share all of it oh, with you. Oh, man. Let me find out. I stumbled I'm, upon the man here. I'll I, I share all of it. Okay, okay. But I must, I must say this, my brother, um, and I want, I want all people to hear this because it's important that you know this. Um, many times I've been pulled out by NGOs and various groups to speak to farmers across in, um, in the interiors and various places. And my question to all farmers have been, do you know anyone who have died of cancer? If I spoke, if I've spoken to maybe three thousand people in the last in twenty nineteen, mm-hmm. might have been a, an outer perimeter of three thousand people, three thousand farmers. As a matter of fact, every single person in the room, whether it was twenty five or one hundred and twenty five persons, they all raised their hands. Yes, I know someone who died of cancer. Everybody like yes, and painfully so. Mm-hmm. Everyone raised their hands. The second question was, do any of you know the cause? To this day, no one has answered me. Hmm. No one. No one. If I came into your village, into your, into your um, community anywhere with a gun mm-hmm. or uh, I mean, a weapon, kill you him, say, kill, you kill him people. You can identify the source. The, uh, he kill him. Yeah, yeah. So now all people have been, all people are trained to kill themselves using harsh chemicals. Mm. Because this is one of the major things that are not being spoken of. The chemicals that were outlawed and banned in other countries over 30 years ago are being used in Africa with new names but the same active ingredients. Somebody has to have to say. It. Somebody has to say something. We're not whether, to say it. whether people want to hear it or not. You no. know that's because it doesn't matter. Somebody wants we, to hear it. Yeah, but we have to say it. Have Pe- to people say need it. to know yeah. because we need to protect our people. That's right. And and I mean and once once again, just so that all people begin to think. I mean, you don't just get a headache because you're aspirin deficient. Mm-hmm. Cancer wasn't just something that came that just all of a sudden cancer came and it's all natural. It's not natural. A lot of things that are happening to our people are happening out of ignorance and someone else's agenda. So we need to wake up and pay attention. So um, at ABI Organic, we're here humbly serving our people to give you some um, organic alternatives along with the modern technologies, whether it's a kitchen garden, small little greenhouse, or you're doing 20, 200, 500 acres, we're here to serve you. So um, we're really thankful to have this opportunity to serve our people and um, we speak the truth. I mean, and that's what we do. We speak it loud every time. (laughs) <laughs> I, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for sharing the vision for ABI Organics. And what I want everybody to do, the information is going to be in the description below. Make sure you check out their website, check out the information and educate yourself. And that's why we tell these stories so that others know what's going on around the world. Because if because a lot of times, you know, in America and other places in the Western, quote unquote, Western world, they're thinking that it's primitive life over here mm-hmm. and the people are not educating themselves but what i'm finding out some of the smartest people in the world are on this continent and, and and it's like in in their breakthrough opportunities that are happening i would have never known coming to nairobi kenya that you were doing this here and i'm so glad i came and i'm so glad to be able to share this with other people around the world and other people in kenya and other people in different parts of africa because we have to tell our own stories and i'm glad that you're unapologetic because a lot of people get all nervous about saying certain things. If we don't tell our stories, mm-hmm. nobody's going to come cure us. They're going to they're going to experiment on us. Exactly. But they won't come cure us because, you know, it's, it's a big experiment ground Africa has been, exactly. and, and African people and people of African descent have been experimented upon for ages for and too now long. too for, long for, for too long for too long. And um, and we say this to people. If I mean the. The guys who, our brothers and sisters who stood up in the past, we saw them assassinated, they got rid of them. Yes. I mean, what about, I have, I have, a, I have an idea. What about if we all stand up? Mm-hmm. If we all stood up, they can't do anything with us. That's mm-hmm. all they got to say. We just got to stand up. They said, we stand up, if we rise. They said, the rise of the righteous is the fall of the wicked. So, I mean, take off your blinders and look, I mean, look with some real honest open eyes. And let's, let's, let's be honest about everything, not just our our agricultural choices, our food choices, our health choices, our, our um, music choices, everything. Because if it's not life-given, then something is wrong with it. If it's not life-given. That's, that's right. That's across the board. That's right. So anyone who's pushing any agenda that's not life-given, then we need to reassess that agenda and we need to take a position for ourselves, for our own future. All right?
So you heard it from Ami, the veggie man right here at ABI Organics. When you are in Kenya, make sure you stop by. Again, all the information is right below. Check it out, check it out, check it out. This is how we do it. Again, subscribe, like, share, and until next time, take care. Man, thank you guys. Open up your eyes and see all the fun and mystery. Take an African adventure with Dan and Destiny. From the mountains to the shore, so many things to explore. Take an African adventure with Dan and Destiny. The Adventures of Darren and Destiny. And Darren and Destiny are twin brother and sister. And you go on their adventures throughout the African diaspora, meaning so African diaspora destinations, primarily focused in Africa, but we go to South America, we're gonna to go to the Caribbean. Their first book is going to take you to Ghana. And then we're gonna go on a safari. And from there, we're gonna to go to Ethiopia. And then we go to Salvador, Brazil. And what the goal is, is to be able to inspire curiosity in the continent of Africa, in our children from a very young age, and to really tell a more accurate story. Most of our children are exposed to negative images, late night infomercials about how bad things are, everybody's sick, everybody's poor, everyone's uneducated, but that's simply not true. So what Darren and Destiny and their family do is they go to different African destinations. They are learning about these different places. You're beginning to see positive images, but still telling the truth. I mean, that's the important thing, to tell the truth about some of the things that have occurred. But it's all done on our children's level so they begin to understand it. And it begins to pique their curiosity. They begin to learn more. And hopefully one day they will want to explore and visit the continent of Africa and its many countries. There's just so much that Darren and Destiny are able to do and as they're doing it, it's, it's like they begin to open the minds of a, a new generation and they don't get bombarded and indoctrinated with negativity. They're actually able to see positivity and inspiring images and messages about the African diaspora, as well as those who are still indigenous to the continent of Africa. And they begin to learn more and, uh, and just see things differently. So I'm excited about introducing the adventures of Darren and Destiny.